Please let me make it there. Was so Alfred Hitchcock surreal. famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. One of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. What if Arbus Plus it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Me too, Victor. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. The of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But I do love my story. analog camera. You don't have beauty. I should take a quick picture now. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony, and if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century. My little century camera bag boat. is battered, but still kicking. Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pet- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. So much. The selfie. And it's a great... Tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression, or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. I can't believe I now, still have this pencil case. Chapters, I, no I should upgrade to the 21st century. Who can tell me the but name of the I like it old school. Process that led to the birth of the self-portrait. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
Anybody? This does not bode well. Just jump right in with an answer. This was in the chapters you read. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
You did. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Your silence is deafening. If this were a photo, I'd call it a still life. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Anybody? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laugh. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I just really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. No Hi, Max. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel You seem quiet today. Process, just thinking too much. To know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I, am. I think Victoria has already won the contest. As usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Huh, this might make a cool shot. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell.
Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder! What? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Let's talk later, Max. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry Clark. What's the point? Because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that because it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria.
I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Yes, this poster must stop fully dead in your tracks. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so okay. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstrap like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. I wonder what actually happened to her. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I think I left my AK at home. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. There's the lighthouse again.
Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. There's Juliet in my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. I wonder what actually happened to her. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. You can learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not a nap. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written all over it. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. 
I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, can I actually Arvis? reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted. What? You're totally haunted. Can you give I me actually an did it. Photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep images. Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. Right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And, and, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to get races, making them extreme. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. 
Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading these long chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo So, You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure- I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everybody to see how she I can't even get off the couch. When can you? I have to get my education on. Take that corner. Yo, Daniel, you tease me. You know I don't tease. Dragon, I hate that Trans science class boy. with those nerds. I know you didn't forget you always uh, catch. Because if you send me a picture, I will see the next slide. You suck. Keep it clean. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I'm too scared to get near this psycho! Are people trying to control me! You are going to get in hell more you're trouble going to get this hurt. than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No, he He's has a gun! I should do something else! Holy shit, I can't let this happen! If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Throw me! You are going Max, to get in you're hell going more to get hurt. for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your- Don't ever I'm tell me- I'm too scared to get near this psycho. I'm sick of people trying to control- Don't ever No, tell he me has a you. gun. I'm so- I should do something else. to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would- Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, Max, psycho! I'm going to get hurt. Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no!
I wonder how we'll get around this. No, 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 no! Don't ever! No, he has a gun! I'm so I should do something else. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. I need than a Trump. hammer to break Nobody it open. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. <laughs> 